here is our third and final map of the of the day. So again, we've got Kraken here with two wins under their belt tonight, uh, which is leaving them undefeated. What? Oh. All right. All right. So as we wait here for teams to pick, take a look and see what we got, if there's anything that looks unusual. So we got Randy opting here for the fair, I think is a good choice, uh, especially on uh, Oasis. There's a number of good vantage points, but also good vantage points for soldiers. So Trinehart's gonna be the direct counter to that, as we know. Uh, we got Jackety Bob on the Zen play again, and then we've got Goose on our Tracer for flanking. So let's take a look here. So they come in, let's see, they're both gonna fight on point, it looks like. And make sure they don't split off too much. We got Irritable going off the back, we got Trine up top, like we said, with good vantage point. Uh, team a little bit of a little bit of uh, split up there. Free Straws gets taken down immediately, so they immediately lose their advantage of the Winston. But we got Phoenix there holding it together on one side. Irritable keeping those heels up. Mofo for sure is now opting for the Zarya, being a little aggressive with that shield, trying to push them off, but can't seem to get Phoenix off completely. That Mercy is keeping them up. Got to get rid of those heels if you're going to take them out. They're just going to continue to absorb that damage. So as we move around here again, we've got all fighting on point. It looks like uh, Kraken may take this, and they do. So Kraken with that demanding lead up front. All right, we got Phoenix. Looks like they're going to reassemble themselves. Let's take a look here and see if anybody takes this vantage point up here. is very popular. Uh, generally, we'll see a soldier up there. Again, good vantage point. But Mofo for sure is creeping up just a little bit, but as we know, he's an aggressive tank and he does it well, so he'll know when to retreat. Looks like he had Discord there on them, and it looks like Phoenix is going to come up, up on that left side, left to the viewer, and in goes Winston with the initiation to get aggressive. Free straws in there. Let's see if he makes it. No, he gets taken right down. That leaves us with Kawa Senpai as the lone tank in the back, but immediately we got Binshu in the back doing the tracer thing, doing some serious flanking, comes around, stays alive, and harassing Phoenix. But Phoenix is doing a pretty good job there, staying alive at that point. Maybe I spoke too soon. Mofo for sure goes down, Binshu gets shot down, and they lose Trinehard as Pern Flank stay alive, but we got the Tank Mercy combo there coming in. We got a quick res there. Randy and Mofo are back up, which means their damage is going to come back at Team Phoenix. So Kawa Senpai and Yuriable are doing a pretty good job on this healing. Uh, we got Jankity running that ult there. Not quite sure if that was the right time to pop that ult or not, but regardless, it keeps Phoenix alive in the middle. I don't know where that diva alt was going, actually. That was really out there. But all right, we got Cupcakey running that alt with Zen. Got Team Kraken keeping on the offensive, really not giving Phoenix an opportunity to take the point yet, but Phoenix has been on it pretty much the whole time. Kawa Senpai doing a last kind of ditch effort there. They know the time's running out. It looks like we're going to give this to Kraken. Who's still left on point there? Oh, and Randy throws him off. We got Trinehart in the back as Soldier, as a lone ranger in the back. Jackie Bob throws himself on there. And that'll be it. All right, I'm Team back, Kraken, guys. very demanding. That was another one for Team Kraken. You can yeah. keep control of this. I'm pretty good with third person is mainly what I've been doing. You want to write down the... Uh... Oh, wait. No, we're not All right. So if you're on Team Phoenix, what's going to need to change here to... Well, uh... I think there was a couple of missed alt opportunities there. Uh, we had Jackety Bob. The Zen ult, I think, could have waited until they were at full strength. 
Um, so again, I mean, we're looking at a alt. Uh, you know, we want to see some more combo. The alts as well as partnering up maybe with a hero that uh, I saw some good play from Irritable and Kawasempai. So we're playing with the Mercy and the uh, and the Diva there. Kept her up, absorbed a huge amount of damage while staying on point, but there wasn't any complimentary damage from the rest of the team. Mm. So let's see here. I'm going to kind of follow them in. Yeah, the good moves there up top there, but you really need the Ryan up there to help support it. And it looks like they're trying to do some sort of collapsing motion here. Let's uh, see if it was going to be successful. Doesn't, but then they all fall back down. Kenwa Senpai is kind of off there on her own, but manages to take out that Tracer up the top, which is good because Binsu was giving him a lot of trouble last match on the backside. We got Free Straws up. At, Shield's still up. They're still pushing in. We got yeah, Zen and Goose. Stop it. I think they want to take advantage of that high ground, which they are, and then falling down. But you can't fall down too early. But Goose is picking up a ton of kills. But Sipiter, man, you got to get those healers down. But I don't know if it's going to matter. Free Straws picks up Sipiter. Nice work. Got to pick up that those last couple of healers. Charge coming in on that D.Va. Pops her up. You can see Binshu just tearing apart, but nice all there out of Jackety Bob. Good Keep him job. up. Keep up nice. his buddies. Watch out. Mofo for sure is at some high strength over there. Heroes never died. Experience nice all there. Oh, oh, oh. Not able to connect anything here. Alt coming down. What is going on here? That is a, I'm trying to lock, unlock. Uh... So, sorry, we've got a terrible cameraman here. Just brutal. There we go, Team Phoenix right. finally connecting. Phoenix. See if they can hold this. They need a goose to get that high ground. They just gotta hold on, Don't recollect themselves. Guys. Goose, All nice right. work. Good work that on should that, flakes. that should allow them to stabilize a little bit. And Phoenix finally getting some points on the board here. That's gotta feel pretty good for them. I'm a little concerned they're overextending just a little bit. So Free Shaw's on the bottom there. Probably wants to be up with his team as possible because he's going into the yeah, death he's trap going up there. Solo but right now. Forces an alt, which is good. Jack Me Bob's gonna have his up hopefully soon, but Goose and Trine up top. Alright, we got that Mofo for sure popping up. Wow. But Yurtable's right there to pretty much reverse that whole thing. Great. Nice job. Oh. Awesome Dude, job. A single res out of Sipiter does not match what happened in Trinehart. Really collecting him right there. A little early, free straws on that alt, but I don't think it's going to matter as they're starting to pick off some kills here. Oh, oh nice charge. Nice free straws. I think we're seeing Team Phoenix come together here. Slow down. <laughs> You're going to make me throw out. <laughs> it's never too late to start on these cap points. It's not over till it's over. It looks like they're taking bottom. Maybe. Yeah, so they're trying to go around bottom. Very dangerous, but they will uh -oh. avoid some of the top one. Goose However, is up there, though, just nailing them from on top. Come right down on top of Ooh, them, but, but they're going right strong. for the heels. Yurtable getting really knocked on there. Mofo for sure, aggressive tank again. Goes out, takes out Yurtable. Trinehart, Lone Ranger on the point. Really doing a good job there, picking up some kills, but just wasn't enough to really make a huge difference. That's okay, that's okay. Phoenix can still make this. So Phoenix is looking at one, a single recap should be enough to pull it off. And we got Goose slowly starting to peek out, see what he's got. They're going down the front there. Not a bad idea. Again, they got tons of time all coming down. Free Straws in a good spot there, protecting that Zen in the back, trying to pick them off while the other shield we got D.Va coming up on the right there with Ooh, the ult. Oh, Sipiter is able to get out of that. Oh, but Senpai takes up. Sipiter survives, but skirts with death there. There was nowhere for it to with go. With the Mercy Res out of the picture here and a nice ult out of Jack Me Bob, we should be able to see them take over this point. But they nice. got to deal with Binshu. He's just zipping around way too much. Jack Me's going to go down if he's not able to pick up oh. a couple kills, which he's not. So even there, 
So even though they're able to take care of this, Binshu is just causing them so much problems. Cupcake, he pops her ult. Incipitor keeps Burn Flakes up. Is he going to be able to get in mech? He does. Huge Fine arc, ult. huge ult. Look at that. Free straws. Or free straws with the big ult. Binshu kind of misses his ult. Randy picks up a bunch. So even though Phoenix is contesting the point, they fly off it, and that's it right there. Wow. So we saw Team Phoenix with a little bit of extra life there, uh, really coming it's together. A little bit thrown in there. A couple of well-timed uh, heal, heal ults there. Phoenix's last opportunity here. Let's see what they're able to do. I will not waste this opportunity. Randy's been a really dominant force here. Um, I mean, I'm going to say Mofo for sure as well. Yeah. I mean, a very good tank play. But I also think Trinehard's really been what's keeping the glue together for this Phoenix team. Very really good job on Soldier. Really good job now. Uh, on that, but again, three straws. I mean, Phoenix is a team where a lot of the players are very talented, but. They're just somewhat not finding the connections that they need to. They gotta deal with Binchu right now. I think he's Binchu shut them down that first game so hard. You gotta be high in for him. He goes right around straight for irritable. Yeah, every single time. Yeah, he's taking a mer Yeah, he's immediately going. Gotta get rid of that mercy. Uh, he is the hit man. Senpai took him out though. That was impressive. But it's not going to be enough to do much anything. So they're able to delay the, the inevitable pick. But Again, I want to see what Mofo's doing over there, keeping him busy. Irritable's got his res up. We might be able to see. Nope, they lost it. So Phoenix is not able to hold the point. They got to recollect themselves a little bit here. Free Star's got to be careful, or else. Got to get back. There's Binchu coming around the backside, crouch walking in there. Ooh, Goose beats oh. him out though, nails him. Nice Great work, work, Goose. Now this is where Team Phoenix needs to see this as an opportunity to really initiate. But Cupcake, he picks up free straws, which again delays his their ability to move forwards. Okay. They're even moving into this. But Tracer's gonna recollect sooner, and Mofo Fashou's just completely shutting him down in this corner. <laughs> Then she picks up some work. Now they can collapse and comes right back down on top. Saw a res. Tries to bring it back, but that's a pretty good res. One of the better reses he's done so far. Yeah, absolutely. Sibiter does not have very large reses, but they've been pretty consistent. Yeah. At the right time, not just resing around. Oh, big all. Huge. Randy. Completely shutting it down, not allowing that to be as major as it should have been. Irritable doesn't have his res up, so he's going to yeah. have to back up. He's trying to get to Kwai, which he does. That aggressive mofo. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's picking the right time to push and the right time to retreat. Yeah, Free Straws like where his head's at. He's really making that Ryan work and he's really helping his team connect on these well, he's kills. Hit, he's hitting the alts, he's standing in the right position, keeping the team Goose behind him. has got to be careful. It's a really dangerous position. His team is able to kind of get to him, but... Oh, another Free Straws alt. Free Straws goes right for the healers. Really good heads up play. Picks up Burn Flakes. I think Phoenix might be able to pick this up here. They just got to keep their team up a little bit more if they can just get Binchu dead. All right, Phoenix picks up the point. Nice work. And then Binchu finally drops. All right, I'm starting to have deja vu from the last game here. Yeah, 99%. They managed to keep it together. I think the more we've seen this Phoenix team play, the better they're able to do with their teamwork. But it's just 
it's just a little bit below what Kraken's able to pull together. Yeah. So again, look at this. Cupcakey way out of position. That should be a pick. Why somebody knows that makes the move, but they're kind of waiting for it. He should be able to get out. He doesn't. Shoot. Goose is able to pick up Vinshu. That's huge for them because he's continuing to cause a problem. Vincent in the back. Are they going to try and take him out? They don't need to. Nope. Mofo for sure. Is he too aggressive? Yes, he is that time. It's taken out. Randy's just on the yeah. point surviving. Ooh, Cupcake makes an interesting ult. Ooh, get pulled away. By that was the, yeah, that was interesting to move in with the D.Va popping the res. I mean, kept kept her up. Irritable's got his res up. He could bring this all back, but right in the middle of that all. Oh. Nice by Kawhi Senpai. Very nice. Took out Randy, another big heavy hitter there on Kraken, which can make a difference, but Binsu's still alive doing damage. Yeah, but Goose able to pick up a ton of them, and they're just shutting them all down, so even if Binsu's able to do something, it's not going to be enough. And they got the all out of Winston as well. Nice so work, Goose. even though Goose. they were very close to losing that point, yeah. they didn't lose it. They're pushing up to 80% right now. Here they go. We got ourselves a game. This was at the expense of a lot of alls. If you look at our team... Kraken, they are flushed almost on alts right here. So this is going to be yeah. tough. Burn Flake's likely going to drop this alt in here. Yurtable's approaching 70% on his alt, so he's still got quite a ways to go. It's going to be important, though. If they want to be able to pull this off, they're going to need that alt. Got to protect that. Randy, first blood against Goose. That's a big, big hit because Goose is the one who led the charge last time. Jackie Bob. Picks up a bunch. She's still got her nice. ult, though, to keep it up. She's going to be able to keep him off the point. Zipiter with a big res. She flies, trying to make the diva all go. Picks up Binshu, but gets taken in. out. Irritable. Randy. He has his up. He does it. We got the pharmacy comes in. No. Goose and Troy. That's all they've got this left. This isn't going to be enough. No. Man, team wow. crack and manages to pull together. I think Phoenix really started to pull out a much better game by the end of those things. Yeah. Starting to work together much more. I was going to say, if they want to keep playing, we don't need to cast it. We can break down if they want to keep playing. Wow. Really nice in place there. Nice. Really heads up play all around. I think between Mofo and Binchu, they really. Yeah, those two guys are a force to be rank, uh, racking with. Wow. Yeah, I was pretty impressed with uh, both their plays, just their positioning. And then, not to mention, I mean, we saw, even though Phoenix lost, some of the big positives we saw taken away from that was Free Straw's positioning there, his tank was a big thing. Uh, we noticed that even on their big loss on the first map, uh, Maybe, actually no, maybe not so much, but on the second map on Oasis, uh, Free Straw seemed to have better positioning as to where the tank was. We saw him out of position on the Route 66 out of the gate, I think more so until the last game. We saw them a little bit more with that coordination, uh, the timed res. We saw a lot of Zen alts in this, yeah. in this matchup as well that were well-timed. I, I think one thing that both of these teams could take out of this is the importance of their positioning on the team and not having unnecessary deaths. That's one thing I yeah. kind of noticed on a lot of these games is that players are putting themselves in very dangerous and precarious situations that didn't always turn out well for them. And I yeah. think even if you're able to get a kill, if you're trading those kills, it's really not always to your advantage. So I think, you know, if you're looking at what your teams can do a little bit better, I think it's somewhat playing more conservative, but it's like playing more conservative, but also being able to explode when you see your opportunities. So when you see that Zen who's unprotected, or you see the Diva Defense Matrix go down, those are the times to explode and really get in their face. Other than that, you kind of need to bide your time and wait for those openings, which I think Free Straws is exceptionally good at. And if Phoenix can rally around anybody, I think it needs to be Free Straws tanking ability to predict and attack. And he gets a good cadence going. And that's really what allowed them to pick up those points and keep that aggression going. When they lost that cadence, that's when the team started to fall back. He was also, if you notice, his target prioritization was also a big part of his play as well. As we saw Free Straws, even though it was a tank, not a big damage dealer, you still saw him going for the targets that needed to be taken out. Yeah, but I mean, we can't say enough about Team Kraken. I mean, Binshu yeah. in the back, shredding those supports. He's it's, the one that opens yeah. up the opportunity for the team to totally unload on him. Randy in the air, Binchu on the ground, and then you've got Mofo just 
in and out, in and out. A great read on ways to stay safe as Winston. He's not just diving recklessly into these lines. He's, no. he's predicting. It. He's predicting it. He knows where to go and when to fall back. Again, preventing the unnecessary death, yes, exactly. which you see a lot of teams initiate with a Winston, get killed with a follow-up. You didn't need to do that because your Winston stayed alive. And then also an important note was we had an offensive Zen, you know, play from Cupcake as well. Yes. Absolutely. Yep, they all finished up. Yeah, the Zen play is, it always seems so interesting to me because you see the Zen plays hit or miss. You either see a Zen that's like nailing those offensive hits, but then in the same way, you're not that safe, you know? You yeah. don't, and you don't really put out that much healing, but it's enough healing, and then those alts are big game changers when it comes down to, you know, the Zarya Gravitons, things like that. Especially yeah. with the recent changes to Zarya, there's not a whole lot you can do when you're in that Graviton, but if you've got a Zen, that's true, you're pretty yeah. much going to be yeah. able to stick it. Yeah, we forgot to mention that. That yeah, that did roll out. Uh, it was in the PTR for a bit. Getting out of that uh, Zarya alt is pretty much impossible now, uh, unless you're Orisa. Orisa is the only one that can pop out. I, th uh, I think so. Wow. Yeah, because you used to be able to dart turn, out. Yeah. My ferret doesn't work anymore. Yeah. You used to be able to shoot out of that. Not anymore. So. Yeah, there's a lot you used to be able to get out of. Well, cool. Um, so that's week two completed. We're looking at week three. So week three is the last week of kind of organized play. Mm -hmm. um, this will week three will determine what who our finalists are going to be. I think honestly though, the way it looks, Kraken is likely yeah. to be guaranteed to be in. I think at this point, yeah, I'm pretty but sure. But we got to look at the scores. They'd really need to drop pretty harshly next week to not be in the finals. Um, but all teams will have two more weeks of play left. And uh, we'll just kind of keep everybody updated on the website through our Discord, and we'll go from there. Yeah, and then we've got uh, hero highlights we'll talk about uh, for this week. And uh, as usual, uh, you know, if you like this, tell a friend. If you're in Chicago, uh, come check us out. Join the Discord, our website, which is scrolling here on the top. Uh, make sure to go to that for all the latest info on the competitive Overwatch. And I know we'll be talking uh, some upcoming stuff with BlizzCon as fast approaching as well. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so we'll be talking yeah. about that as well. Yeah, and if you plan on going to BlizzCon, definitely drop a comment, shoot us an email. Um, we got some exciting stuff yeah. heading our, our way that way. We'll definitely be there representing Overwatch Chicago. Yep. All right. Well, until next week, we'll see everyone later.